Hey everyone, we are out here again to do another Training Tuesday video with the help of GB guns here. So this week we're gonna be doing switch hitting. We also have a very fascinating gun that most of you probably haven't seen much of before with the Hudson H9 pistol. Uh, we figured this would be a good drill to do with this gun because we don't need to be drawing from a holster and I don't have a holster for this gun yet. <laughs> but it's also a really unique gun with a different trigger mechanism that I feel like will definitely show how easy or difficult it is to fire a strong hand only and weak hand only. So taking us into what the drill is, we have two three by five index cards, one foot apart at three yards. And we're gonna be starting with the pistol in our ready position. And then we're gonna, we have 10 seconds to present the gun for our one hand, uh, one round strong hand, transition to weak hand, one round, weak hand, or strong hand, one round, weak hand, one round. So four rounds total in 10 seconds. The main emphasis of this being safely transitioning from one hand to the other, and then also making sure you can adequately fire strong hand only and weak hand only. Short distance, pretty forgiving size target. Hopefully, I'm saying that now. If I miss, then that'll make me sound even worse. But we're doing it a little bit in hard mode, shooting a gun that neither of us have a ton of time behind, <laughs> um, but should be interesting nonetheless. You, you've shot one of these once before, like, 2017, I think. 2017, so he's an expert, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, should be interesting to see how a gun like this performs through a really short, easy course of fire. Uh, we got a downrange camera set up just to make it really easy to spot our hits and or misses. Um, and again, the whole bottom section of the card just goes over the safe method for transitioning from one hand to the other. Uh, 10 seconds seems like a long time to fire four rounds. Let's see how we do. And in just in dry handling this, because obviously the value in this drill would be you're in a fight, you're injured, or take cover if you go Russian style and want to swap hands. It's practicing transitioning the firearm from one hand to the other. There's no mechanical external safety on the Hudson H9. However, it's very slim, mm -hmm. which I think should minimize fumbling. And it's got good weight that as soon as it gets towards yeah, the of your hand, it just naturally sits. sits in there. Yeah. So. And with the really low bore axis, uh, it'll be interesting to see how easy it is to mitigate the, or manage the recoil with weak hand only shooting too. <laughs> All right, fun. let's get started. All right, so let me turn the camera here so you guys can see a little bit better. So again, I've got a target here at three yards. We'll get a magazine in there and get the timer going. Felt good enough, 8.37. Um, you know, the trigger on this is really nice and I'm interested to get his take on it being so long since he's shot one of these, but having that almost 1911 style straight back trigger makes it still pretty easy even with support hand only where you don't usually get a ton of practice time in of still keeping those rounds more or less in the area you wanna uh, shoot. This also has an aftermarket front sight just to get the point of impact up where it's supposed to be. And that fiber optic is still really fast and easy to pick up. Let's see how Graham does. Let me get the camera here. Stand by. Oh. Uh. Nice. Good recovery. So that was 982. So we did it in the time we were just off on your first support hand only shot. Um, so what, in your opinion, yeah, sneak in here. Um, so effectively your first shot since 2017. I didn't give him the benefit <laughs> like he did me of putting some rounds through that bull armory pistol first. Um, first impressions. Felt really nice. Um, it, was, it was easy to do the transition, uh, the break though I didn't know when to expect sure. it, yeah. uh, was still controllable. Uh, I failed to swap eyes when I swapped sides, mm. and I'm gonna blame that on my <laughs> errant shot, even yep. though the subsequent shot was great. Yeah, well, you <laughs> learned, he took what he learned from the first shot and then centered it up perfectly with his second shot, and uh, you had a nice, consistent point of impact, basically, on most of your shots being centered other than that, that first one shooting at support hand only. Again, we're doing this hard mode, doing it really effectively 
not only dry doing this drill for the first time, but for him, really effectively his first rounds through the gun. The, the weight of the gun did play in as I expected. It just sat in my hand very nicely. Mm -hmm. I think this drill could be more challenging with a lighter weight gun sure. uh, that might have a little more fumble factor going on, but this just sinks. Um, and having a, a predictable break, or at least an estimated break, mm -hmm. since I, I didn't know this gun yet, sure. um, helped a lot. So just for grins and giggles, because that was effectively his first shots through it, do you want to run this again one more time? Oh, give myself a chance to screw up? Sure. <laughs> okay. So uh, we still should have enough ammo in there to get another uh, yeah. set through here. Um, so this will be his chance to hopefully redeem himself. And now that have all the shots. rounds of experience. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's, again, an expert. 2017 and then four rounds here in 2023. Expert time. All right. Shooter ready? Yep. Stand by. Didn't change eyes again. There nice. we go. Well, and we kept all the shots on the three by five card this time. Uh, for what it's worth, the, the card doesn't tell you whether the card should be horizontal or vertical. I figured vertical is gonna give us the most forgiveness for jerking the trigger. But any, do you, I mean, again, he's now eight rounds in. So again, <laughs> a certified expert. Um, any significant difference in, in how you approached it now that you had four rounds through it? I was more comfortable with the gun. Okay. Even though it's just only four rounds of experience, I at least knew generally what the recoil impulse was gonna be like. And it's very smooth in this. So I didn't worry about having a death grip on the gun. Sure. I was able to relax my hand a little more. And at least on my usual shooting hand, Right, right hand, I think that resulted in nice group. Yeah. Um, on the left side, still just not as much experience. And then forgetting to swap dominant eyes um, to the left eye gives you a bit of a skew on the, the sights. Mm -hmm. I bet if this were attempted at a longer distance, we would see way off errors. Yeah, potentially. Trying to do right eye, left hand shooting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, again, this this gun is one that lends itself to being shot well, I think. Um, however, there's still no uh, replacement for practice and training on a gun. Just because you shoot a ton of guns, like he obviously does with this channel, if you haven't seen it. Um, so, sorry about that. We had the snafu with this memory card getting full here. But um, if you want an opportunity to win a deck of cards like this one, all you have to do is upload a video of you running this or any other drill that we've done so far in the Training Tuesday series. The whole month of August, I had one submission, so that one person is gonna be getting a free deck of cards, but you actually purchased a deck of cards yourself because yep. this seemed like a valuable thing for you to do. Even though you're shooting handguns all the time, there's a big difference between going out and shooting and then what we would call training or practice um, and even if you go out with that goal, because you obviously still practice and train, you're taking classes. Um, just because you do that doesn't mean, when you actually, doesn't mean when you actually get out to the range, you actually remember what drills you can actually set up. So this okay. is a good way to help keep that stuff fresh in your mind. And I gotta say, of all the drills that I've seen, because I watched the Training Tuesday series, um, this is probably the lowest cost chance mm -hmm. to win a deck of cards. You could do it in four rounds. Four rounds. Get yep. a box of ammo and get tired. Yeah. <laughs> you <know? Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And again, you don't have to do well to upload a video. Um, I almost appreciate when people are willing to put themselves out there with a lower performance because all that's doing is giving you a benchmark to practice and compare yourself against in the future. Uh, if you saw the last video we did with the Bull Armory pistol, He's gonna take a training class with that pistol and I challenged him after you're done with that training class, run that same drill again at your home range and see what difference in performance you're able to get in speed and accuracy once you've had a gun that you've put a ton of rounds through. And again, all you're doing is setting a timestamp saying at this date, this was the performance level I had and that gives you an excellent reference point to practice yeah. again in the future. Uh, so anyway, I'll get off my... Get off my soapbox. You guys know I care about this stuff. But uh, again, check out the links below if you just want to pick up a deck of cards like this one for yourself. I'll hopefully be doing more content on the H9 here in the near future. But with all that being said, as always, I hope you got something out of this video and I really appreciate you watching.